Hey, Archie, how, how's it going? Hey, Stan, how are you doing? I'm good. All good, all good. I, I hear you're still a little... Uh... Still a little bit shaky. <laughs> gotcha, gotcha. A little gotcha. bit of a cold well, still ticking over. Um, the flu over here in the UK has just been rife. But um, still here, still alive, still doing well. Um, and yeah, let's jump into some trade analysis for this week. That that's the problem with trading. You can never stay away. It's very hard. Even yeah, exactly. On your deathbed. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, I've already taken three trades today and I'm feeling like this. So. <laughs> yeah. Sounds good. So um let's uh let's dive in. Uh just a quick sure. um uh, uh we're gonna take a look at the um uh, Nasdaq S P. I think Archie's gonna do a gold, and um I think I'm I will also I'm gonna take a look at the US dollar and um Bitcoin. So let's start with the NASDAQ and S&P. They're, they're all very similar formations. Um, on Sunday, I was telling everybody to watch for this break, uh, either to the top side or the downside. I was positioned to the downside myself. I actually just took profit here. Um, I think this is still selling rallies because the Fed is uh, every day, the uh, bunch of them uh, coming out, the speakers from Federal Reserve, uh, all saying that they're going to tighten faster. Uh, they kind of missed the uh, uh, ballpark on the inflation. So they kind of screwed up. Well, not kind of, they did screw up. So now they have to play a catch up. And the catch up is that uh, they're all now talking about 50 uh, basis point uh, rate increase to uh, fight the inflation. So all of that is. Um, is uh, getting priced in into the uh, risk assets like Bitcoin and uh, and um, stock indices, where uh, stock indices obviously are getting sold off. Sold off. The uh, the yields are rising, and uh, so uh, all of these indices are basically you know hop on the four hour, one hour chart. Uh, the minute they tap the uh, uh, the moving averages just sell them, sell them, sell them, sell them. I think, and tomorrow is CPI, uh, the inflation data for the United States, so it's going to be uh, also interesting. Uh, White House already came out today saying that they will, uh, the uh, CPI print is going to be high, so they're already uh, saying that uh, shit is getting uh, uh, getting away from them basically. Uh, so they they will that most definitely will be raising rates faster, which will uh, put a um, uh, put, uh, put pressure on the risk assets and thus the stock indices will be selling off and keep selling off. As you can see on the NASDAQ, we took out a major, major previous uh, resistance and this was um, support and we are basically uh, retesting this order block here now. And uh, I think very, quite possibly we're going to be retesting these lows in coming weeks. But for now, we've, uh, uh, we are basically at 50% retracement of this rally. So uh, I'm still selling rallies in uh, both S&P and NASDAQ, and I still have a US 30 short because it's kind of lagging. Uh, as you can see here, similar rise in five ways, one, two, three, four, five. And uh, this is just, a, this is not a deep enough correction, I think. And plus this is starting to look like a head and shoulders. So everything uh, is pointing to the downside. Uh, for the stock indices. And quickly, I'll do a Bitcoin. Bitcoin is highly correlated to as a risk asset. And it actually was leading, as you can see, at a rise as well. And it's just plowing through all the support levels. I think we're going back to 30,000, uh, mid 30s, at least probably we test this trend line here and the lows around uh, this area. So around, um, I think we can most definitely probably test 37 uh 38,000 still uh we were short from 46 we took profit uh the algo has and um i again this is also selling rallies so you find previous support someone like here or here you uh if there's a pullback you sell that pullback and uh um, i think we're gonna target the like i said mid 30s so i know there is some some interesting stuff happened with gold. Archie, you wanna? Uh, I know you 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 mentioned that you've taken a bunch of trades. Yeah. Were they gold related or? Yeah, yeah, they were gold related today. Um, let me uh, let me actually uh, give you the um, one second. Let me give you controls so you can show your screen. Uh, for sure. Yeah. Uh, if I'm gonna be able to do it quickly, let's see. Oh, don't worry. All right, there we go. Brilliant. 
Uh, make a host. Okay. So I'll try now. And let me let me turn off my stuff share. There we go. Brilliant. Okay, let's do this. Yeah, so as I was saying, um, I've taken a couple of trades today. Um, one which was a break of structure. Um, so like drag out some rectangle, we can break break it down. So to be honest, there was a break of structure kind of off of this sort of zone, mm -hmm. um, which was what the first buy was based off. Um, catching that late Sunday evening and through to Monday morning, um, kind of a one-to-one -one risk reward ratio trade that played out nicely, um, targeting these highs over here, um, where I was expecting some sort of consolidation. And then the second trade for today um, was placed off of trying to swipe this liquidity. I thought if, if price is going to continue here, there's a really strong chance that price is going to reject off of this zone um, as a swipe of liquidity and then some sort of retracement. At the same time, we were super over bought on the RSIs. Um, you know, that's one of my confluences. We saw some pin bars on lower time frames as well. And so I took a second trade for short, which worked out well. Um, third trade of the day got stopped out um, for 20 pips. That was on the lower time frame. Here, I was expecting some bullish continuation, um, but then we saw a break of that level and got stopped out. So we've kind of had three trades today already. Um, so it's been a busy week so far. Um, two it's just mode. Monday, right? <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, and it's just Monday as well. So, you know, two really great trades and then one that's kind of got stopped out, but that's, you know, part of the game. Um, but yeah, as you've said, I agree with all the stuff you're talking about with, um, you know, the indices and CPI. You know, if that, if that builds any fear and some ten any tension, then we should expect to see gold fly a little bit higher. Um, I agree. But to be honest, I'm not really, I'm not going to be trading off of the news. Um, it's too high a risk. But if I jump onto some high, higher time frames, um, you know, I'd, I'd want to see this sort of retested again. Um, but I would say a break of this level, I've just popped that white line. Probably expect to see price move down to this white line here as well. Uh, if I get a little, do we have a pathway here? It's on this one. There we go. Down to this sort of down to this sort of zone. Um, reason being is because these are some, this is a really clean candle, um, so price can quite easily move in that direction, um, especially with news. If it a break, uh, you know, a solid break and close below this level, we could quite easily see um, this sort of zone being filled. So that would be a trade that I'd be looking to take. But otherwise, if CPI is the way that we kind of expect it to be. Then I'd expect bullish continuation. Right. That would be, I agree. you know, before I'm running out of breath, that would be my <laughs> short, short breakdown for gold. Um, yeah, it's been a good week so far. Good week so far. Gotcha. All right. Well, you feel better. This is uh, like we promised. Was gonna, it's going to be a quick and uh, quick and dirty <laughs> update for this week. We might do a if you feel better uh, uh, midweek mid or something. Or something yeah. Update. Yeah. Well, for our traders to actually. Uh, see how they're doing, et cetera. So, all right. So let's, uh, I hopefully will, uh, the uh, tomorrow is going to be exciting with the CPI and they'll give us new, tra new trading opportunities, which we can discuss in the midweek update. For sure. All right. Then I'll uh, see you soon. Yeah. Bye for now, guys. Bye for now. Later. Awesome. All right.